Hi, this is Tampa Tech, and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. It's a Insignia TV with a built-in DVD player, 26-inch TV. All right, and uh, basically, what I found out on this bad power supply that came out of the TV is this transistor right here was shorted. And how I knew that is I read it in diode mode. So basically you move this switch all the way to the right and puts it in diode mode. This Fluke 12 multimeter. Just like that. Let's go ahead and read that. It reads 0.3 one way, 0.3 the other way. And then on this On this right here, it reads open line one way, and then open line the other way. Okay. Now, if I take the good power supply, which I got for like thirty bucks, and you get at these boards, uh, Amazon, Shop, Jimmy, and uh, eBay. I feel safer Shop Jimmy because that's actually a dedicated website for buying boards. And eBay, not so much. Right here. 0.5. Yeah, right there. 0.5. One way. And then it should read open line the other way. Here it is. Open line the other way. Whereas this one reads open line. And then open line. And then 0.3. And then this one... See how it reads different? And then other way, it reads open line. So basically, it was supposed to do the job of, it's supposed to allow voltage in one way and not voltage back out. And this is not doing that. This is allowing voltage one way and then reverse the leads and it's allowing voltage back out. So bad things can happen. And this one does not do that. It allows voltage in one way and no voltage on back out. So that's what we want. So okay. this transistor I replaced and uh, for some reason keeps on blowing and blows these diodes out too. It's a pain in the ass, real annoying. I was like, ah, screw it. I just ordered the power supply for 30 bucks. Be done with it. Because we go through all these parts, I might end up paying $30 anyway in the long run. So. Sometimes it's easy to cut your losses and just order the board. i will be the first one to admit. I'll be like, hey, I'll cut my losses. This is uh, getting to be a little bit of a headache over my head. And I'll just order the power supply. At least I know. Like, I, I narrowed it down to what board it is. And uh, it should fix it. Come on, get in there. And then this is the power. You're supposed to connect the power last. So you want to, of course, put the screws in. The most important screw, by the way, is the ground screw. See how that has a middle thing right there? Tab? Well, that grounds out the board. So that's probably the most important screw to put in. And so without a ground, you don't have uh, the complete circuit so it might not turn on properly if you don't have that screw in tight not too tight or you break the board but tight enough and then I'll put in a couple of screws in right here And the last one you plug in is always the power. And let's plug in the power over here. Always use caution when working on electronics, especially when they're plugged in. You can get shocked, electrocuted. Happens to me. Not enough to kill you, just enough to knock you on your ass, though. Okay, see if it turns it on.
blue light, that's a good sign. And it's turning on. That's it. And DVD player is loading something. Something. I think I put a movie in there. Hold on. Uh, I think it was X Men or something. That's it. Thanks for watching. Post a comment. Subscribe to Tampa Tech. Check out my other YouTube videos, How to Fix TVs, on my TV Repair Playlist.